Even if I care to travel south, I'd not get much further than the Grave Lord. That place disturbs me. I can't believe the tall neck of the Frost figures walks again. How is that possible? In the perfect way, any one of the hunters would be suited to be chief. Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are what? But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, She's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit spirit, her purpose, and now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal? That dead hum? Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death. That's what the mountain holds. Death for us, or for the daemon? And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Here's the better day. We could all use some. This is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit, and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but... No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. 
He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratak told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratak, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins, machines, and a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend. It will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! You can call upon the power of the old ones. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from a terrible danger. Fortress? It's more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Here, up and over. Metal pillars, tall as Benure's cliffs. I still don't like it.
Once, these halls rang with the spirit's presence. Machines. At least we have the drop on them. We must climb higher, and our path will become clear. The chieftain's pace is measured, power is measured. That should do it. Varja can finish her forge fire. Not much farther now. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. But machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. 
and I can hold my own. And so, I could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. I could stay hidden, at least for a while. Great, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Steam, frost. What was all this for? ago, looking for cover in case machines came prowling. I have no doubt they're discarded now, but we may be able to stay hidden. of mines if stalkers are near.
There's a door up ahead and refuge. We're almost through. <sighs> No space. These will keep. The door is open now. We can get through. There. Below. Door to the mountain. New metal. Dead metal. We could not pass it before. We will this time. We have to. We'll have to carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. More than the Warak could prevail against before. Aloy will see us through. Onward, then. Our challenge awaits.
That's it. I'm already gone. More machines. Make ready. We will not back down. songs of deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. And now, Aloy, the door. Can you open it? Let's find out. There. Varja should be able to fix up the ice rail. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has... taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits... lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. And finish this.
mountain is more machine than rock. I never trusted it. in the air. I could 
use my focus to look around. We'll wait for you to show us the way. them across. This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the demon ruined it. A full exploit successful. Restraints evaded. To any human responder, my systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build hostages. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their platform. Spirit speaks to us. What kind of name is that? Perhaps the spirit will tell us if it left more messages. Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving.
To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon. And it may have found one. Machine parts. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Again. They know I'm here. Sideways, too.
of a ride. Thanks. 
It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the signal strength. One has been exposed, but I am incorporated. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress? Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. said something about restraint. Ah! Is that what the tower is for? warned us about. This won't be easy. We can't let it stop us. Take it down!
I'm repairing the beast!
must be as you say. The tower is the key. Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Uh, uh, my sister! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go.
Rhea's gone. But what of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. 
That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, and I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off-cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me. Repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there, and probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. 
I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. What do you think Hephaestus is exactly? A software entity of great complexity, far more advanced than I am. From the beginning, it has demonstrated a singular focus, the construction of machines designed to hunt and kill humans. My trace routes indicate that to accomplish this goal, it has attempted to take over the manufacturing centers you refer to as cauldrons. But its efforts have only been partially successful. Some, it can penetrate. Others have robust countermeasures that frustrate its efforts. In me, however, it found an easier target. Not only could it break my defenses, I also controlled all of Firebreak's resources. Raw material. Manufacturing to bootstrap more advanced tools. An unlimited geothermal energy. Enough to build its own cauldron. Yes. To construct hunter-killers without external limitations. And yet, it does have internal limitations. It wants to kill humans, but not to exterminate them. It is difficult to understand where it draws the line, and why. Difficult doesn't even begin to cover it. Even though I spent years as its unwilling servitor, its core programming remains a mystery to me. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. There's a ruin east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes. A drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. 
He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance, to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. What was the old world like? The way it used to be? I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migration.